a bulk carrier fully loaded with coal has completed cargo operations and is ready to depart port it has a maximum draft of 17.825 meters at 610 hours steering gear is tested and found to be satisfactory the vessel sails out at 630 hours A steering gear abnormal alarm sounds at 6:50 hours. The alarm is reset and the vessel continues passage. A little while later the tugs are released. At 7:20 hours the steering gear alarm sounds again. The chief engineer checks the steering gear and finds the leakage from number 1 pump. He stops pump number 1 and starts pump number 2, but the steering fails completely due to leakage of oil. The pilot calls for tug assistance. The emergency steering is inoperative due to leakage of oil. At 7:30 hours the vessel runs aground resulting in damage to the hull. Vessel is floated back at around 15 hours and towed to anchorage at 18 hours for repairs. Further investigation revealed that the ceiling rim of the ram was found broken and dislodged. Small pieces of the ceiling ring had found their way into the hydraulic circuit and blocked the operation of the directional control valve. Bad maintenance practice resulted in damages to the hull and steering gear, detention by port authorities, financial loss to the company due to repairs and charter party claims. ensure that all critical equipment maintenance which cannot be done at sea are positively carried out in the dry dock monitor the performance of critical equipment on a separate checklist other than the ones provided in the planned maintenance system arrange for training of the ship staff on specialized courses which enables them to understand the care and maintenance of this equipment better